Hello, my name is Bart Kamski and I'm going to show you an uh, update on my data visualization uh, asset for a virtual television production. So, uh, there are many settings here. You can change anything. It reads uh, data from data input. So, there is data table that looks like this. These are the countries in Europe with its population, population in millions. So, the new thing is in case of name, for example, here is var value name, and you can add, uh, where is it? Yeah, uh, on, in value you can add prefix or suffix. So, for example, suffix you can add M, or if it's like B, you can add B, and you can add uh, prefix dollar sign, for example, so you have 65 billion dollars. But let's stick to the millions and you can we can add people for example um, yeah so we can change that uh, you can obviously change the value size you can change value distance uh, you can change the name uh, of the text uh, the color of the text so it can be the same as the uh, poll is or you can pick up it yourself like this uh, you can change the background color it could be exactly the same as the poll or you can choose yourself the the color of it let's stick with the gray one also uh, it automatically change uh, when you add some letters it automatically change its size but Beyond that, you can change you you can add the size and change it um, as you wish to make it. Maybe you want to have it square or something like that. You can adjust those size. And these are these are values uh, regarding name. I kind of started from the from the end, but from the from the writings. But yeah, I'm going to show you. So obviously, you can change name size, and you can have like many different ways of setting up. So it can be horizontal, like la, like this. Let's add a background uh, right here, so we can see. You obviously need uh, maybe smaller uh, smaller size and bigger distance, but you can make it vertical. In the middle, this one doesn't maybe doesn't need a background, but the color then could be blue one. Yeah. Also, it could be uh, vertical on the side. You need again bigger distance. Let's change distance of the poles right here. Yeah. Uh, what else on the side? It could be on the floor like this. It could be could be perpendicular. And it could be parallel on the side, but this one works, it, it is dedicated if you want to have a vertical one, because you can change its operation, all the things, numbers change from, uh, from vertical to horizontal. But now, in, in case of numbers, you can add uh, distance, so they not, not overlap. Uh, yeah, so everybody can have background or doesn't have background. You can change color of the background of the letterings, or you can pick up the same color as the uh, as the poles are. So okay, let's go back to the poles itself. The first thing uh, is you can um, let's go back to the horizontal one. You can choose the circle, and you can choose the radius, for example. And in this case, distance works as a distance in the radius. So you can make make them circling circling you if you want. Uh, let's stick to the straight one. You can obviously change the scale. Then you need to adjust adjust distance. You can change obviously height. Uh, you can change width. You can change depth. This is the square. So uh, if it's one one, it's actually a square, but you can make it like a band uh, if you want. And you can rotate it if you want to have it like this, for example, for some reason. You can do. And the best thing is that you can change its shape. It can could be cylinder. It could be cone. It could be pyramid. 
or it could be triangle like this. This then uh, rotation makes more sense because if it's triangle, you can maybe rotate it the pointy side or the or the 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 blunt side. Uh, I'm gonna add maybe a pentagon, maybe a sextagon, maybe a star, like five, uh, five, uh, like pentagram or like a six, uh, six um, star with six spikes. I don't know. Yeah, but here are all the versions. Uh, maybe not all of them, but probably because there is like many, many var variations you can have. Oh, the one more thing: the colors. The colors you can uh, get colors from color uh, data table there is a color data table and you can choose color here and you can use those colors so if you do that just click this and you have colors from here so this is some color palette like pastel colors that's why they're not very strong but if you don't want you can have some settings in colors for example uh, there is offset, so when it's zero, it starts with this color, ends with this one. But when you off when you offset it, you just offset the color. So the first one was orange. Now, if you set it to one, the last one is orange. Uh, but you can also change color distance, for example. And if you if it's one, it goes the full uh, full rotation on the color wheel. But if you set it like like this so the distance between colors is very small and then you can change uh, probably need to work on this Maybe second, it should work yeah probably need to work on some colors because not it is you can set it up like many versions but it's not very intuitive you can change the brightness so if you want to have dark colors that's also possible you can change the saturation and if you can if you want to have very bleak that's what you can set up yeah so this is the one version this is like a bit looks like a I don't know Ku Klux Klan chart please don't ban me YouTube uh, this is another thing this is another thing this is another thing and here's the vertical one so you can have many many different types of charts please tell me what do you think about it uh, tell me what do you want more what could be useful the next thing I'm going to work is I'm going to work on animations uh, and I want to make like really different different things like animating it so it grows from the zero uh, to the full value one by one or all at once you can you can you would be you, you could choose that um, what else I can I can make uh, I want to make animations of appear, appearing and disappearing and maybe I can make a transition between different uh, values so for example you have temperatures in uh, for the whole week in this place and then you have in this in different place so you can you don't have to make two different charts you can just add maybe not one data table but many data tables and with a button you can switch between them and there is a nice animation that goes from one value to another that's my idea for for animation that that's based on your comments guys so uh, i'm going to put it on the marketplace it's not going to be very expensive. It's going to be cheaper than the other uh, charts that are already there um, for virtual production. So, and I'm going. I'm doing this for you. So please tell me what do you want me to make it, make it, to make more stuff here. Yeah, that's all. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time.